What is it? Don't you tell me. What do you make of this? Uh... <sighs> it's great. <laughs> Puzzles have always intrigued me because of the mystery. There's a trick to the puzzle, and sometimes you're trying to figure that out and it's a long process, sometimes it's uh, a sudden realization, or it's very, very simple. Dino is solving the puzzle of in vivo gene delivery, which means how do we safely and effectively deliver DNA into a patient's body, to every organ, to every cell, and for every patient. It's definitely not an easy puzzle to solve. Gene delivery has really been the challenge for the field of gene therapy for many years, many decades. And everyone knows it. This is P4. Dino's approach is to focus on engineering capsid proteins, which are these protein shells. What is the difference between and taking capsids which we found from nature, making them better for therapeutic applications. What are you doing for this one? This is all about gathering as much data as we can to learn how the system works and to make a map of the capsid fitness landscape that we can make sense of. Dino is a powerful rock climbing move to jump out from the wall and then to reach up and grab on to a new hole. It's a word that we chose for the name of the company because as we engineer the proteins trying to navigate this landscape, we're looking to climb. So climbing very quickly or dynoing up the landscape would be the fastest way to reach the top and to get the benefits of all that engineering. So AI is a way for us to first automatically recognize patterns. In that data set with machine learning, we can build models for how the caption works, and then we can query those models and ask them, what do you think about new sequences that the model has never seen? So automating that process is what we refer to as AI. I'm an active solver. I like chasing a problem, acting quickly, and fixing it right then and there. I like in-person interactions. I come to work, I do my work, and I care about my work. I like talking with people where they're at. These are the people that deal with NHP or virus or plasmid. When we look at lane one. These people channel DNA through me. Q scores. And then I output that in a, a standard readable format for other teams like our engineering team or like our ML team to design future experiments. we're able to endlessly scale the complexity of our libraries. So having a platform that can compete or keep up with our AI, our ML, our new designs, we want to continue making things more complex, more diverse. Illumina technology enables us to read out the results of these experiments at a huge scale. And that means we can do hundreds of thousands or even millions of experiments in one batch. And that bandwidth, we can use it in all sorts of creative ways. It's just reliable, man. It, it just works. The chemistry is great. The shelf life of the reagents is great. The quality scores are great. And the throughput is great. The easiest thing to say would be it just works. My hope is that in the next five years, we solve the challenge of in vivo delivery. We want to eradicate every genetic disease. We want to you know, understand what makes people healthy and then find ways to keep people healthier for longer. What Illumina technology enables us to do is to connect all of the things that 
we all know about how the world works with some unique insight, even a proprietary insight, and to connect that knowledge to the physical world. That, that's what Illumina enables. Thank you.